Hey, it's Andrew with uh, Good Space High Performance Builders. Welcome back. We're at the next stage here in this uh, high performance remodel of air sealing. Uh, we've shown you a little bit about that starting with our zip system on the outside and we've de described how our air barrier on this um, building is the subfloor, the exterior sheathing and up across the ceiling. So that's our air control layer. And so we tested it in the last video where we um, put a blower door on so we could identify any areas that we hadn't sealed well enough. And at that stage, we were at a air leakage of ACH, uh, four, four and a half ACH 50. So we did more detailing um, with the foam and caulk. So on this wall, for example, you can see kind of starting from the bottom, we, we foamed around pipe penetrations. Doesn't look like we got much there, so if that's leaking, the aero barrier should take care of it. Old holes, again, this is the remodel, so there's old electrical wiring or um, plumbing. And then if we go up to the top of the wall, you'll see we've sealed pretty well there. We used foams and caulks to seal our drywall to the uh, framing there. And then um, these pieces of paper, that's where we've got um, ducts, so we wanted to seal those off. Uh, the holes up there, the can lights, they are a, uh, it's, a, it's a, a nice can that is actually does have a gasket and the box is pretty well sealed, but Aero Barry will get up there and get any joins in the sheet metal. Um, so what we're gonna do is have the Aero Barry guys in here. We'll show you some of the equipment set up. We're about to see how much tighter they get the building. And then um, we're about to see that on the laptop, what um, air leakage we have at the start, they will be sealing all the windows, so that will drop down uh, the air leakage quite a bit from what we had on our blower door test. And then um, we'll come back in at the end when they're done and we'll look around and see where the error barriers got. For, for this job, a big one is gonna be the floor system because it's a remodel, so we've got this old floor and there's just a lot of cracks that um, potentially are gonna leak, so the aero barrier is gonna be awesome for that. So we've cleaned off the floor, and uh, we expect that to get sealed, as well as the can lights on the ceiling, and anything we've missed on the wall, on the perimeter, on the top plates, the bottom plates, around pipes. So yeah, exciting day. It's always fun when the team from Aero Barrier comes in, so we'll see you shortly with some of the setup. From Insulation Solutions is behind me, just setting up the equipment outside here. They got their laptop and the uh, aero barrier in the bucket, the hoses, the compressor lines, that's going to be control station and we'll quickly follow the hoses in here and show you the spray rigs. This house is about 1200 square feet so not, not too big so we've got three lines coming in, color coded lines and I'll show you the uh, spray rigs that are going to be putting the aerosol product into the rooms. We've got one here, and while we're here, we can see they've sealed these windows completely. These are double hung windows. We have a lot of them, which is gonna have a good amount of air leakage, but we'll see what our leakage is before and after with air barrier with everything excluding the doors and windows. And we can walk back into the back part of the house here and you'll see another one of the spray rigs. We've got one in the adjacent bedroom there. And then this one is back in this corner of the house, so they're kind of spraying all corners to really get a good mist of the product that's gonna find its way through the cracks. So we'll watch uh, on the computer in there and see what our uh, air, air leakage numbers are like. Now the uh, aero barrier system's up and running. The guys from Insulation Solutions have got the blower door set up. In fact, they just put the smaller ring in um, as, it, as it's sealing up. We started at six. And now, last time I checked, we were about 6.5. Uh, we've been running for about 10 minutes. It's sealing up pretty quickly uh, because we, we think most of our cracks are pretty small. It'll seal faster. And the reason we're now at, um, at six, uh, starting point instead of the four and a half we had with our test, is now the can lights are open. And those boxes we put in, we thought they weren't too leaky, but certainly they were a little bit. We went in with um, some smoke earlier and tested that. So we'll keep this running for a while and, and see how much we can uh, knock the number down to. Um, I will take you around the back and show you something um, 
funny that happened because we were having some some high readings ACH 10 uh, and I'll show you why so follow me around here back here uh, on this wall we have the intake for the fresh air for our HRV you might better see it there we don't have a hood on it yet but there's a duct penetrating out of that block in the siding uh, and uh, anyway for some reason the guys had sealed everything else but they forgot to cap that so that was just letting the air fly out so we were like there's no way we get an ACH 10 on this house right now so so they found that um, and just a side note the reason we put um, this on the back for the HRV fresh air intake is this is where we figure the cleanest possible incoming air is in this backyard back off the street so that, that's the location of that so uh, we'll be jumping on soon and looking at what our uh, final um, air sealing numbers are the blow door test has been running for an hour now and you can see they've put more rings on the fan here because there's not as much air going in because uh, most of the holes on the inside are sealed up so at the start of this we were at about four and a half and now um, we'll go over there and uh, take a look on the computer and see see where we're at now all right it's awesome so after an hour we had a lot of the little cracks in there we've got it all the way down to 0 0.4 air changes per hour which we're happy with um, so now the guys are gonna shut this down and uh, clean it out and then after this we'll go inside and look for the evidence of, of what's been sealed up so yeah fun day here and uh, we'll be inside soon okay so we're back inside um, the crew from Aerobarry has cleaned all the plastic off the windows and, and doors um, evacuated all the aerosol sealant out of the space and so now we've come in to see if it has done what we anticipated and have a look around to see what, what has happened. So one of the primary things we, we assumed would happen is, is sealing some of the cracks in the old subfloor. And so if you come in over here, you'll see these cracks in the floor. There's a line of white um, in the cracks and that's the aero barrier filling in those areas. So very happy with that. That performed like we anticipated it would. There's a good little spot right there where you can see it filled so for us to to find all those cracks throughout the whole subfloor is is obviously very difficult with traditional methods um, so i'm going to take you back here and find another spot that we'd overlooked um, you know we, we were happy with what we had done with our caulking and foaming but um, you know this is part of the reason we we use the aero barrier to get get anything we missed and the, there's a good size hole here so right between these bottom plates um, it's filled in there, so there's certainly a hole through to the subfloor. And you can see it looks different. It's white, it's a little flexible, just like a acrylic caulk, but, um, but the, the method that it's on there is, is a lot different. Um, so now I'll show you a couple of more interesting spots. We've got the speakers up here and the can lights that we've filled in. Um, with some aero barrier in the small cracks. Very hard to see, but we got up there with our flashlights and were able to identify that. So now I'll take you to the back. Mm -hmm. 